In Creel Parametric Sheet Metal Mode, you have the Corner Relief command available from the Engineering Overflow menu. And we often put corner relief into our sheet metal models in order to prevent deformation when a part is being bent or unbent. Now there is a specific situation that you need to comply with in order to be able to use the corner relief command. Before we go into that, I want to mention that certain features have corner relief available within them. So for example, if you take a look at this part model, I have a flat planar first wall, and then we have flange walls on the four edges of that first planar wall. I'm going to use the edit definition command from the mini toolbar, and then we have the ribbon interface. Let's go to the relief tab, and when that opens up, you can change to corner relief. So within this feature, you can define what kind of corner relief that you want at the four different corners in this particular part. Let's cancel out of here. I'm also going to go to the conversion tool. When you are converting a regular standard solid model to a sheet metal part, one of the options that you have is to define corner relief in the sheet metal version of it. But let's cancel out of here. Now let's see about creating corner relief in this model. And first I'm going to start off by unbending all the walls. I'll click on the unbend command. By default, it is set to automatic, so it's going to unbend all the walls using the default fixed geometry of the first planar wall. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete that. There you can see the bend notes. Now I can go to the engineering overflow menu and choose corner relief. And this one as well uses the selection method of automatic by default. It's going to select all different corners in order to apply corner relief. But the lack of a note on the screen tells me that it's not going to put it in any of the corners here. That's because one of the requirements for the corner relief command is that you have to have at least one edge rip in the model. And here I don't have an edge rip. If I wanted to have corner relief in the models, I should put it in the flange wall feature. Let's go over to a, another part model. And this is a part that started out as a regular solid model and then was converted into sheet metal. So for example, if I go in here, we just have an extrude and then a round down at the bottoms. And then we have the convert first wall command. In order to flatten this out and make it developable, this needs some edge rips. So here we have the different rip commands. The default is the edge rip. And let me select my four different edges that I want to rip in here. Let me rotate the model to get to the other two edges that I want. And you can see the preview of the rips that are going to be placed in here. Now I will hit the check mark. And Let's again do an unbend all just to flatten everything out for placing my corner relief in here. You don't have to do that, but this just makes it easier to show you. Now I will go to the engineering overflow and click on corner relief. And again, the default selection method is automatic. It's going to pick all four corners, four corners in this particular part. And you can see on the screen that we do have a 3D note showing that this is going to be a V-notch. If you go to the type drop-down list, you have other different choices like no relief, and you can see how the preview updates on the screen. We already saw the V-notch. Let's go to normal. And also, once you start changing the different types, you have the different options for the origin and the orientation. And so you can see if changing the different options in here have an effect on the geometry in that particular situation it did not let's go to the circular option and when we chose circular we have a number of other different options in here so for example we can change the thickness of the circular cut here's an option to offset perpendicular to the orientation here we have the ability to do on origin or up to bend or lined where you can set in a value for the offset by default is using the thickness but again you can see how changing this has any effect didn't have in that particular case but let's go back to on the origin 
Now let's go to the drop down list. There is a square option. Here, let's change it to up to bend and blind, where you can set in the different numbers that you want to use. And let's go back to on origin for that one. Uh, oh, wait, actually, for that one, let me go to orientation. We can see that diagonal also has an effect here with changing it from bisector and rectangular. Configure the different dimensions, rotate about origin as well. And then ob round, which is basically a rectangular but with a rounded shape on the end. And in this particular situation, we just have one set that we're creating on all four of the corners. Let me hit the check mark for now in order to complete that. Let's go back to this one and I'm going to right click on it, or actually just click on it and use edit definition from the mini toolbar. And inside of here, instead of doing automatic, I'm going to change it to manual. You can have multiple different sets of references. So for example, let's say I want this one and then hold down the control key and select this one. Here I have two different corners in set one. And I can say that for this one, I want it to be square and then configure the different values for the dimensions of the relief. Then we can choose that we want to do a second set. Let me select the other two notes here. And instead of V notch, this one, I will go for the ob round shape. You can see that this is using corners one and four. And so I'm happy with that. On the options tab, here's the default option to create the relief geometry. You probably want this turned on. And all that you really have from the properties tab is the ability to change the name of the feature, but you can always change the name of the feature in the model tree. And so I will hit the check mark, and that way we have our corner relief created in our model. Let me change the view directly on the plane, and you can see the differences based on what was configured for each of the sets. And so that's how you can create a corner relief feature in a sheet metal model.